Okay, we are back. Um, I want to erase this whiteboard and try to prove that one thing. Very small step, but yeah. You know, this American band, what, Imagine Dragon, I, I don't like them very much. I heard about them uh, because it was recommended to me by some young people, millennials. I didn't like it, okay, so Imagine Dragon, hey, fucking fakes. I didn't like it, okay, so anyway. But Dragon, yeah, we imagine ourselves to be one day maybe become big, you know, million dollar, whatever. Ferma CRM, proof thereof, some things, whatever. But if I w win this, what, Mr. Bill's theorem, if I prove it, we can prove something even more generic than Mr. Bill's conjecture. Okay, maybe they don't have to be co-prime. It's X, Y, Z. We can prove something even bigger than that, more generic than that. Uh, if I do win million dollars, will I share that with you? I don't think so. Okay, I will just put it in my bank account after pay the, paying the tax because I don't hand out money. Okay, I'm doing my job. Okay, I put in a bank account, use it ready day fund. I'm not gonna give you a single penny. Okay, so just to let you know. Okay. I'm not gonna give it away as a charity, no, I put it in my bank account. If I die, yeah, I will, what, ask, what, is cheat and go to the US government and become taxpayers' money so that it benefits everybody in America. No problem. I have no problem with that, okay, but because I don't have time to hand out money to you, okay, so I don't do that. I don't do charity, not very often, okay. Sometimes I do. I don't have time, to, time for that shit, okay, so. Okay. So, let's go ahead, okay. What color is this? Green, okay. I wanna use red. Give me red. Ugh. All right. What, are you disappointed? <laughs> Whatever. Like I said, if I do win this $1 million money, I pay the tax, so I will be left with 500000 right? I put in the fucking saving bank account, and I'm not gonna think about it, okay? Nothing will change. Because I don't have time, okay? I, I gotta keep doing mathematics, all right? I, I don't have time to hand out money to people. No, no, no. I put in a bank account and then that'll be that. That'll be the end of it, okay? I don't have time for that shit, okay? So, no handout, no charity, and I'm not gonna even use it. Put in the savings account and forget about it. I keep doing mathematics. Run for present. Maybe I will run it use it to no no i'm not gonna use it for campaign money no i don't have time for that shit okay i'd rather do mathematics all right so but it may change i don't know i may change my mind maybe i will go to las vegas and hire a bunch of prostitutes in las vegas nearby <laughs> And just spend it all, get some STD, have sex with multiple girls. <laughs> but probably not, okay? Because, uh, no. Just fantasizing, okay? Whatever. Seven and then twenty plus nine. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, right hand side. Okay, left hand side is this. Okay, 
we have to prove they are not equal. Okay, left hand side is x cube plus y cube. I know more mathematics than I did three decades ago, so. And I have more time too, because I'm no longer high school student in 1990s in Seoul, South Korea, okay, so. I have more time, I, yeah, I got my job, full-time worker, but only 40 hours a day, a week, eight hours a day, okay, so. Let me have some beer. Beer is very good for digestion, you know. Carbonated drink. <coughs> Let me grab some wine too. Beer and wine. Because what we are dealing with here is very heavyweight, hardcore. <sighs> but we are, I am enjoying it, okay? I hope you do too, okay? So, we are challenging the British mathematics professor Wiles. We want to be. To be because we are next generation mathematician, okay? We want to be better than he is because if you are a parent, you want your children to be better than yourself, okay? So yeah, it's legit. We want to be better than our predecessors. We want to be better and bigger. I want you to be bigger and better than me, okay? So. That's very humanitarian, parental kind of thinking, thought process, okay, attitude. Yeah, we want you to be better, okay? <sighs> Professor Andrew Wiles, I don't, I don't know if, if, whether he's still alive or not, but uh, he will be very happy to see us being better than him. Whether he's in, on earth or in heaven, I don't know, okay? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he wants us to be better than he, okay? Just like any good parent, scholar, teacher, okay? So, yeah, teachers, high school teachers, they, if the teacher loves his students, uh, he or she wants their students to be better than themselves, bigger and better, of course they do, okay? Parents, teachers, pastors, bosses, and they are the same, okay, so parental figures, okay, yeah, yeah bo my former bosses, yeah, they want, is, want me, wanted me to be bigger and better than them, so, so. yeah, move on, go on, okay, be bigger and better, yeah, my former bosses, just like my parents, okay, they wanted me to be more successful than they were, okay, parents, Parental love, okay. Even Jesus, Jesus said, yeah, oh yeah, my disciples, yeah, you will achieve great things, you will do what I have done, and you will achieve even greater things. Jesus said that. Look it up, okay. Yeah, I know pastors, they don't talk about it, but I know because I read Bible myself. Because pastors, yeah, they're regular, ordinary people. They don't, they're not humanologists, not yet. So they don't quite understand what Jesus said. Okay, so they don't know what to make of it. They don't talk about it. Okay. Maybe some pastors have, I don't know. But I've never heard any pastor talking about this passage. Jesus said, 
you achieve even greater things than what I did. Jesus said that, okay, but I have never heard pastors, reverends, preachers saying that. So I think that because they, probably they don't know what to make of it, okay, but we are humanologists. We know what it means. It's a parental love. Yeah, go bigger and better than me. Parental love. Teacher's love. Your former boss's love. Okay, so mine too. All right, so. Right hand side, left hand side, we want to prove that they are not equal. Proof of inequality, okay, that's what we, they cannot be equal. It's already proven by uh, Mr. Professor British Andrew Wiles. Uh, yeah, we are in a safe environment. We know they are not equal. So, safe kind of greenhouse environment, okay? So, we know this cannot be equal. We just need to prove it. Okay, okay, let's sub get rid of no number nine. Number nine, subtract, because A is equal to B, right? A plus nine is also equal to B plus nine, right? Let's say C is not equal to D. Yeah, we can add as well. C plus nine is also not equal to D plus nine, okay? Plus, minus, whatever. Okay, same thing. Okay, so okay, that's given. All right, so subtract nine. Okay, so what we are left with proof got proof by contradiction or not? I don't know. Uh, let's use you want to use blue or green. Tell me. I have to guess what you tell me because you are not here. You'll be here probably in 10 years from now. Right now it's 2019, July. When you see this, it will be at least one month later because there's a huge backlog of this uploading. I live in Alaska. It takes a long time to upload. By the time you get to see this, it will be at least one month later. From today because I have at least 100 episodes to upload before this episode okay so it will be like three months or more maybe one year before you get to see this and because I live in Alaska so internet is slow okay so yeah there's some higher speed bandwidth but I don't have any money to for all that high speed bandwidth so <coughs> I get to upload one episode a day or less sometimes uploading fa fails so I have to re-upload no problem Plus nine, plus nine, left hand side, right hand side, it cancels out so we can get rid of nine. Okay, so. Okay. Let's prove, prove by contradiction. Yeah, we'll just pick blue. Okay, so. Proof by contradiction. Okay, so on the right hand side, we get rid of nine. We have these guys. Okay, so. D9, we have, what else do we have? We have D1, D2, D1, D2, and D9, right? We call it A, B, and C, right? Because that's easier, okay? So, 1,000, 1,000 A cube plus 2,700 A squared plus 2,430 A plus 720 proof by contradiction we want to prove that they are not equal but let's assume assume and then we will 
find some contradiction. Hopefully, hopefully, okay. Let's say that that is equal to what uh, one thousand times b cube plus c cube, okay, plus three hundred b squared plus two c squared plus three, sorry b plus four c. Okay, that's that. We get rid of nines. Okay, so uh, we want to find some contradiction here. Okay, so can we? I don't know. A, B, C, they are ah, totally arbitrary integers. Well, natural numbers, positive integers. Okay, totally. We have cube term, square term, first order term, and then some zero here and seven hundred and twenty here. Okay, okay, okay. Seven hundred and twenty. Uh, before we equalize this shed, uh, let's not move too fast we are not gonna assume anything okay so maybe we don't have to uh resort to proof by contradiction okay we just call it left hand side right hand side okay so uh okay we try to make it as similar as possible okay so left hand side is equal to 1000 a squared I mean a cubed plus 300 times 9 a squared okay plus 30 times eighty one a right? Plus, we, we got nothing out, le nothing left. Seven hundred and twenty. Okay, that's left hand side. We are just factoring it out. Okay, so <coughs> you have a square, a to the cube, b cube plus c cube, and three hundred times nine a squared which should be same as b squared plus two c squared, and thirty times. Uh, you have b plus 4c and you have 81, 81 times a and you have plus 0 720 okay so okay we have 720 it can be absorbed into this guy because 720 is a multiple of 30 okay okay let's do that I want to take a picture of this shit. Dido, 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 okay. Dido plus Dido plus 30. We are factoring it, okay. 81A plus uh, 24, okay. Yeah. I'm going to spell it out, okay. Just confusing. Okay. Let's exercise diligence and discipline. Not too bad, right? We want to prove that they are not the same. Okay, they cannot be the same.
I don't know yet, but we may find it out. If you have been watching this episode very, for a very long time, maybe you want some pay, payment. But I'm not going to give you a single penny, okay? I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to hand out any money to you, okay? So if you are looking for money, this is not the place for you, okay? <laughs> Even if I w win this, what, Mr. Bill's $1 million prize, after paying the tax, I'll be left with well, $500,000. I'm not going to give you a single penny. Will I be using it? Maybe, maybe not, but most likely not. I just put in the bank account, savings account, okay? Uh, to use a rainy day fund. I'm not going to quit my job. No, nothing will change. Okay? I will just put in the bank account. If I die, yeah, I'll let the government take it give it to taxpayers, Americans, no problem. I have no problem with is cheating, is cheat. It, as cheat, is cheat, okay? Yeah, if you die, you have bank account, it goes back to the government. Unless you write a will, you have some air. I don't have any will. I don't want to write one. I have no air, I have no will, so yeah, then you go back to the government, because money has to go somewhere, right? I have no problem with that, because government, yeah, it will give back to taxpayers, okay? Because I don't have time to give up money, or spend money, no, I don't have time, I gotta do mathematics, I gotta go back to work, okay, so, nothing will change, okay, so you will not get a single penny off of this money, so, that's what you are looking for, then get the fuck out of here. Because I'm not, you're not gonna get it. Okay, so I, I'm not here for money, and hopefully you're not here for any money either. Because you're not gonna get one. Okay. You want to publish this? Yeah, I encourage you to. Yeah, learn LaTeX. If you know already, yeah, publish it, okay and get money that way, but you will not gonna get a single penny from me directly, okay? So just to let you know, right? Because I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time for distribute money to charity to you. No, I don't have time, okay? I'm busy, right? So we take five minutes break and we'll try to prove this shit, okay? So. Okay. Take five, okay?
I'll wash my hands and my face. So we are good. You know, let's not be mathematics zombies, mummies. Okay, we are not dead people, we are alive, okay, so let's not get too wrapped up in this tape of mathematics. We are not zombies, we are not mummies, we are not Mira, whatever. Uh, no. We don't want to get buried in numbers. <laughs> no, six feet under, that's not us, okay, we are alive. Let's talk about something else, okay. Okay, so we are more than numbers. We are more than mathematicians. Okay, we are better than that. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to dance. I didn't this weekend. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a long while since I danced, okay, so In Alaska, I went to this club Three years ago, and there was African-Americans okay? They are my favorite people to dance with But they don't always like me They don't want to dance with me, so In Alaska, there were these this two African-American girls in Alaska in this club uh, Downtown somewhere okay so and they were dancing while they were sitting so I was like so I've been to Detroit Michigan and African Americans blacks female blacks they know how to dance so they are my favorite to dance with <laughs> I know just a little bit about dancing and I want to learn from people who can dance better than I do African American females, okay. So, African American males, I have danced battled with them because I wanted to learn because they are way up there. I met some of them in Alaska, of all places, also in Detroit, Michigan too. And because I want to learn from masters of dancing, and I did, okay. They obliged me and they taught me how to dance. Better. God bless them. God bless African Americans. That's great dancing. Okay, so <coughs> not just blacks, Hispanics, whites, Asians. Yeah, I have learned dancing from all of them. Okay, because they are better dancers than I. I was and I am. Yeah, they're fantastic dancers. Okay, so we took a break. From mathematics okay let's do this let's get back to this because we're kind of curious okay can we prove this or not I don't know we are trying ABC is any arbitrary number arbitrary number okay so as a cube B cube C cube yeah we are get back to the zero whatever right so it doesn't help us because we don't know whether they can be equal or not that's what we want to, want to prove or disprove okay so so we have to go lower okay some arbitrary number 81 times a plus 24 and we have B plus 4C can they be equal? we don't know alright this is not an easy problem yes the fair mass last theorem it's some very small part of that, very small slice of that. And we try to prove this small thing, one small thing, and we are having problems. <laughs> okay. Fermat's theorem when n is equal to 3. Okay. And it's not that easy. 
we want to prove that they cannot be equal, okay? A, B, C, there's some arbitrary natural numbers, positive integers, okay? So, uh, but we are trying, okay? So, we categorize numbers into 10 groups by ending digit. This arbitrary natural positive integer, natural number, does it end with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 and to 9. Okay, this our categorization by ending digit of this arbitrary positive integer by natural number. Okay, so we are doing 3, n is equal to 3. Okay. x cubed plus y cubed. Is not equal to z cube. Okay, that's all we are trying to do. Okay, x y z positive integers. Okay, so maybe the proof already exists. I don't know. Okay, right. I don't care. We wanna do it in our own way. Okay. We want to be independent, okay? We will, we love challenges, all right? So, Let's break it down even further, okay? Can uh, B plus 4C, can it ever be 81 times A plus 24? Can B plus 4C, we're just breaking it down, okay? Can it be 81 times A plus 24 when A, B, C, uh, they're just some natural numbers, arbitrary number in natural numbers, okay. Can this be true? Can you make an example of this? Can we prove this or disprove this? Counter example or example, okay. We know 24 is multiple of 4, okay, so, okay. How about 81? Okay, when, all right, when A is 1, and B is, B is 81, okay, and C is equal to 6, then yeah, yeah, there is example, okay. Okay. So, yeah, it failed, okay, so, it can be equal, okay, so, okay, now, uh, next step, can 9 times A squared, can it be uh, B squared plus 2 squared, well, let's see. Uh, this is even number it could be odd number and this this could be even or odd number okay so can we find some natural number like one two three four five positive integers can we find this let's see A is 1, B is 1, and C is 2. Yeah, A plus 1 is 9. Okay. <coughs> so we failed again. 
Okay, they can be equal. How about what? You have a cube plus is equal to b cube. <laughs> equal to b cube. <coughs> can we find any natural number, positive integer for this shape? No, because Professor Andrew Wiles, he proved that there's no one. Okay, he proved Fermat's last theorem. Okay, so. It's the very first instance of Fermat's last theorem, okay? There's no positive integer that satisfies this. Third, fourth, fifth, and on, okay? So we are not making any progress here, okay? We are back down to ground zero, okay? We need to prove that what we need to prove in order to, in order to prove that thing. We ground back ground zero, okay? So, <sighs> oh well. Okay, we failed, okay, so. I don't know how to prove this yet, okay, so I don't. So one million dollars, yeah, is, I cannot get it, okay, so. Yeah, it's for somebody else, okay, maybe a single mom who's good at mathematics. I don't need one million dollars. Even if I win it, yeah, I pay the tax and put it in the bank account. I'm not gonna use it. I don't need that shit. Okay, so I don't know how to prove this crap. Okay, so I don't. All right. I cannot prove the very first case when n is equal to three. So you know, I'm kind of attempt tempted to look up this Fermat's last theorem. Has anybody ever proved? when n is equal to 3, the very first case of Fermat's last theorem. I want, I'm curious, okay, I want to look, look it up, okay, so, five, take 5 to 10 minutes break, okay, so I'm very curious, I want to learn, okay, so, yeah, take 5, okay, well, 10.
Well, I have a bag, okay? So, I looked up some web, Wikipedia, whatever, okay? So, uh, Verma CRM, yeah. But, yeah, I guess some people may have found some proof for this, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? So, we are not doing this for money, okay? Yeah, money is a good incentive, motivation, and we benefit from that uh, Mr. Bill's $1 million prize. But, Jesus said, Oh, God's temple is not for money, mammon, evil. Yeah, I'm going to overturn these tables for all these sellers and marketeers and Woo! Yay! That's what Jesus said, right? <laughs> Maybe I should go to hell for this, okay, but But yeah, money Yeah, we are not doing this for money, but we did get some motivation, some help to explore these possibilities, okay, so Famous Lath Theorem was studied by legendary mathematicians like French mathematician, mathematician like Le Gendre or some female mathematicians like Sophie Gourmain. I just read about her, okay. Impressive, okay. Back in 1800s, she was female, she was mathematician. Impressive, okay. Yeah. Sophie Gourmain or Euler Gauss, of course, right? They always come up, right? Le Gendre, Dirichlet, blah blah blah. Okay, so <sighs> whatever. Should we give up on this? Do you want to just move on and give up on this? Ah, uh, no. I don't feel like to give just give up. Uh, <clears throat> if we failed, right? I, I failed. It's my fault. Uh, but uh, we don't want to quite give up yet. I mean, it's too early to give up, don't you think? <sighs> I mean, from what I've read so far during the cigarette break, uh, the cube is not as easy as when it's quad quartic is four okay so uh maybe that's correct okay so we we may take a shot at proving the fourth case when n is equal to four not three okay because here we are back to ground zero kind of okay so uh, cubic terms square term and first order term and constant term you're not quite getting it okay so yeah i'm not getting it okay i'm sorry yeah it's my failure it's not your fault it's my fault okay so At least we come up, came up with nice notational convention, okay, so yeah, but that's good. God gave us this simple task to prove this is not true. We can't even do this. Have you ever heard from your boss? We talked about this before, by the way. Your boss, he says, Oh, I gave you this simple task. You cannot even do it. You're fucking fired. 
God gave us to disprove this equality, to prove the inequality thereof. And we can't even do it. Okay, so uh, yeah, we suck. We suck. We cannot even prove this. The very first K Fermat's last theorem, okay? We cannot even do this. But I want to, okay? I'm not going to give it up, all right? It's a new challenge. I'm, I'm on it. Okay, so... I want to prove this shit, okay? I do. I think I know enough mathematics to prove this shit, okay? So, uh, third case. Mm. Let's focus on this third case, okay? So, I'll take a picture of this if I can find my cell phone <coughs> and we erase it. We we'll focus on strictly number three because I'm on it. I want to prove this. Okay, so. But I think I know enough mathematics, okay, so to prove this crap. Come on, we've been doing mathematics for years and decades. I mean, if you ask me, come on, this should be easy. Come on, we know better, okay? Yeah, we should be able to do this, okay? So let's start from the basics, okay? Uh, D0 cube is d0 zero, 0 cube is 0 d1 one, 1 cube is what d0 zero prime 0 okay so uh, cube is what d1 prime 1 right d2 two, 2 is any d any number that ends in 2 okay cube is what d2 prime Right? No. Okay. That's that, all right? So we have that much, all right?
I kind of regret I erased all that shit, okay? Because I should have picked another whiteboard and before back to this previous whiteboard. But I took pictures of that. So. <coughs> okay, let me look at the picture that I took. First, this last digit approach it was it's not a good approach okay so I kind of have this nostalgia about this because it's something I came up with when I was 15 years old so I tried to revive it resurrect it but it's not quite working all right so oh well But we cannot ignore this periodicity. We can't. Okay. It's, it feels as if it's something very significant. All right. So uh, we cannot ignore this periodicity. Zero one eight seven four five six three two nine. Okay. So all right. <coughs> Yeah, <clears throat> the ending digit equals to this periodicity, okay? That's something very significant. We cannot ignore this, okay? It has must have some significance, all right? So... Hmm. <sighs> Uh, we're gonna come up with a better notational convention because it's parenthesis. Oh, it's too bulky, right? D99. Oh, fuck that. Okay, so we're gonna have to come up with a brand new notation. Okay, so uh, because notational convention is very important. Okay, so if it's bulky, we don't get very far because too much resistance, too much obstacle. Okay, so uh, we'll do this. Okay. We just call it D O four is zero, okay? And D O D one four is one. D uh two four is what? Six. D uh, three four is what? Just take the last digit when you multiply three times three to the fourth. Okay, multiply three by four times. Okay, multiply three four times is one. Multiply four four times. What's the ending digit? Six. I'm just copying it down from there. Okay. We have to come up with this better notation convention, okay, so.
Okay, so D notation, all right? What does this stand for? Digit, last digit, okay? So you multiply nine four times, what's the last digit? One, okay? That's what it stands for, okay? So. Yeah, I got the impression that when n is equal to 4, it's easier to prove. Okay, that's the impression I got from all these Wikipedia articles. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's try to prove that shit. Okay, so. They cannot be true. All right, fine. Oh boy. Uh, we are not going to do zero here, okay? So, just one and five and six, okay? Now I'm confused. Oh, my goodness. So. All right, so, okay. <coughs> What's D14? Okay, that's like uh, D11 to the fourth plus D55 to the fourth is equal to what? D22 to the fourth is equal to six, uh, something like that. Uh, no, no, no. Some what? Some D prime six, okay, so we have, my goodness, we have uh, 10 A plus one to the fourth plus We have to disprove this equality, okay? Oh my goodness, that's... It's too much work, I mean... <laughs> uh, but maybe, maybe not, okay? So, okay, here we have 10d plus 6, we know that's even number. 10c plus 2 to the 4th, that's even number, right? We have odd, uh, this, I think that should be odd number. Odd number plus odd number, that's even number, okay, so never mind. I'm not getting this, okay, so I don't think I'm getting a million dollars, okay, so it's too much for me, all right, so <clears throat> I 
I cannot disprove this, all right? So, at my wits end, okay, I, I don't see any easier way, easy way to do this, all right? So, no, I don't. Maybe we can find some contradiction here or not. Okay. Uh, you have number six. But we don't have any three, but yes, yeah, it can be three, right? D can be three, too. All right, so, uh, okay. Can 10C plus two, can it be equal to 10D plus six for s some arbitrary number C and D? Uh, we'll see. <coughs> can it be ever equal when C and D are arbitrary natural number? Let's see. Okay, 10 C minus D is equal to four, right? Yeah, C can be. Can it? When C and D are natural numbers. I don't think so. Maybe that's the key. Okay, maybe we are finding something. Yeah, maybe we discover something new. Okay. But we are, have this fourth power, doesn't make any difference. Can this ever be true? <clears throat> I think we are making some progress here, okay, so. I doubt that this can ever be true. Okay. I mean, D can be any any big number, right? But uh, is there any natural number pair C and D that satisfies this equation? I don't think there is. Okay, so that could be our, our starting point for Fermat's theorem proof. Better easier shorter proof okay so i don't think there is any pair that have this they can satisfy this thing. when c and d are natural numbers okay so i doubt it okay so let's expand this okay so pascal theorem right My goodness, one four six four one. Okay, so one four six four one. Okay. Oh my goodness, do we have to do this crap? Let's do it. Okay, for the love of humanity, right? 
we expand this 10c plus 2 to the fourth left hand side right hand side okay Ten thousand, okay. See, two or four plus four times thousand times two, okay. Eight thousand. C cube plus six times C cube and two cube uh, C squared two squared, okay. So. 6 times 100 times 4 2400 okay so CQ Ten C times well 4 times 10 C times 2 cube okay so 4 times 10 C times 2 to the third okay thirty two zero C plus 16 okay Okay, uh, can this be the same as 10 times D plus 6? I doubt it because <coughs> for any C and D, which are natural numbers, I doubt it because we have 16 and 6. 6 is 2 times 3. It has element of 3. Yeah, D can contain 3, whatever, but, um, yeah, C can be some multiple of 3, too. Is there any C and D that, that can satisfy this equation? Uh, we hope not, because then... If there is no pair of C and D that can satisfy this equation, then we are making a very first step to prove Fermat's last theorem in a simpler way, not Andrew, Professor Andrew Wiles way, this way up there. But we want to find a proof that is simpler than that. Okay, so uh, we have to disprove this equation. Okay, so. How do you do that? C and D, we can prove by cases, okay? C and D, they are some arbitrary uh, positive integers, okay? So they can be either odd or even, okay? so. All right, <coughs> we can make four cases, C odd, D odd, C even, D odd, C odd, D even, or C odd, D odd. Yeah, we can do that by putting C is equal to 2K plus one, D is equal to 2L plus one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we can do that, okay? So, uh, let's just think about this. When C and D are both odd, odd number, whether you square it, trip, cube, cube it, or quartic it, okay? Odd number to the end is always odd number, okay? So, and also even number to the end is always even number, okay? So, can make use of that all right so if they are both odd 
where they are kind of equal, big, they both become hard. Okay, so 6 is an even number, 16 is an even number. If C and D are both even, again, they end up in so we cannot quite use that, okay? So uh, we have to use raw algebra somehow, okay? So six contains element three, okay? Sixteen it does not contain element three, okay? So uh, we have to bank on that somehow. I mean, using raw algebra, let's take... No, that doesn't quite work. Row 3, row 2, they are both even numbers right here, okay? So, row 2, they become equal. We want to find that some operation such that they are not equal, okay? So, we want to prove this inequality, okay? So... Row algebra, uh, if we if you take row two both sides, well, they become equal because they are even numbers. If we take row three, and then we have bigger problem because we don't have no idea what the remainder of this will be. Okay, so I elusive. We'll take a break back soon, okay, but just give me one minute to think about this, all right, so. Uh, well, this guy is candy plus two times three is equal to what? Factor it out 2 times 5d plus 3, right? We call it this left hand side and we call it the right hand side. Okay, so left hand side, uh, we can factor it out with. 8, I think, or even 16, okay, so, okay, 16. Ten thousand. Ten thousand divided by 16, okay. Ten thousand is equal to 100 times 100 is equal to uh, 4 times 25 times 4 times 25 okay 25 times 25 is like what 625 something like that right yeah Hundred and twenty five plus uh, four hundred, okay, yeah, six hundred and twenty five. Okay. Took me a while, okay, so six hundred and twenty five C to the fourth plus yeah, five times sixteen is eighty, right? So five hundred. I know this because I've been, been doing mathematics a long time, okay, so how about this guy? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Ten or four hundred divided by 
16, 12 times, eight times what? 300 is equal to eight times two times 150 okay so two times eight is 16 okay so 150 uh, this is cq okay 150 uh c squared plus what 20 c plus one okay can left hand side be equal to right hand side? Can we find C and D that satisfies this? Divide by 2, okay. 8 times this. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, okay, so, oof. Very challenging and difficult problem, okay, so. We're gonna have to take a break, okay, so. I'm not getting it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not, I have no clue, okay, I'm clueless. <sighs> I'm, I'm hungry too. I didn't eat anything today, okay? So, except vodka. <sighs> we'll take five minutes break, okay? So, I have no idea. Oh. So reheating the water to cook my ramen noodle again and again. <clears throat> yeah, it's fasting. We are fasting, okay? Just like Jesus and his disciples, okay? Fasting, not eating anything. Uh, let me take a look at this because I'm gonna take a break and I want to think about it well while I'm taking a break okay so okay so quadratic cubic square and then 16 and then 10 d plus 6 okay 16 and 6 let me think about this okay so we'll be back okay
Okay, I nibbled upon this edible plant in my yard. It is small plants on the ground that taste like pineapple in Alaska. I know that plant. I used to know its name too, but I forgot. But very tiny little plant, okay. All right, so where's my water? I'm gonna have to switch this out, okay? I'll find another whiteboard to erase. Uh. Yeah, give me one second, okay? So. Give me one minute. find out this whiteboard to erase next uh, how about this guy a good, good candidate yeah all right QED yes already already been proven so you can erase this shadow so, without thinking twice, all right. So I wrote it down. I took pictures. It was, it's been already recorded. Okay, yeah. Arabic ta noon. Yeah, you got it. T N N. Yeah, you got it. Okay. okay. So what we have is decent blue left hand side okay left hand side is equal to 10,000 my goodness c4 bomb okay c4 yeah bomb right yeah 8,000 c3 2400 c2 320 C plus 16. Okay. Right hand side is very simple. Okay. 10 D plus 6. Okay. So uh, we're going to subtract this too. Okay. And then we could be 10 here and it's multiple of 10. Yes. Multiple of 10 here. We again fail. Okay, so it's not quite working. I don't know how to prove this crap. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry if I failed you. I did my best. I did. Okay, so, but that approach is not quite working. Okay, so uh, we cannot quite subtract this crap. Okay, is there any other way? I mean, you have six, that's multiple of three. Here, 16 is not multiple of three, okay? I try to take advantage of that shit. But once we, once we subtract them, it becomes multiple of tens. It can be equal, okay? We need to prove that they are not equal. Let's see, let's say C is three. Because it has to contain some element of three because six is multiple of three, right? D can be multiple of three. Okay, let's say C is multiple of three. Then left hand side is not multiple of three because you have some multiple of three plus 16 which is like remainder one right 16 is 15 plus one you know what if c is uh 
one mod three. Okay, so one mod three is, is like when we divide C by three, remainder is one. How about that? Yeah, we can do case by case. Okay, so but we have cube, we have quadratic cube square. Oh my goodness. We need some more theorems here. Okay, so. But D can be any number, okay? It can always match. Uh, C and D, they are independent variables, so... But... Uh, okay. We know they are both even number, okay? So this is what? 2 times 5d plus 3, okay? And this guy is what? Even longer than that. So 2 times, my goodness, 5,000 c4, bam, 4,000 c3 plus 1200 C2 plus uh, 160 C plus 8, right? Okay, so that's left hand side and right hand side we have that. Okay, so uh, this happened to be, we factor it again, okay? So 2500 C4, because I, I think we may be getting it. 2000 C3 plus 600 C2 plus 80 C uh, plus 4. We can factor it again. This is 8 times. Actually, we can factor it again. Again. Okay, so 16 factor by 4. Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, I know how to calculate division, okay, so divide by four, okay? <coughs> I know how to divide by four, okay, so. Divide by four. All right, can these two things be the same thing? Uh, we divide by two, okay? So can five D plus three, can this be same as eight times 625 C4? Can it? I don't think so. Why? Because we have odd number here and even number here. We got it. Okay, so they cannot be the same. <sighs> we got it. Okay, so there will be very our very first step to prove very much less theorem in a simpler, easier way. We prove we had the proof for the very first step when n is equal to 3, kind of. Let me trace it back. Actually, when n is equal to 4, all right? It's already been proven, I know, because I read this in Wikipedia, okay? So. But we proved it, okay? Probably is a different kind of proof. 
Maybe it's already done before in the same way using different different notation convention, but well, we proved the for very some easy case when n is equal to four, uh, which has already been proven. But well, whatever. We took our first step, right? I'm looking back at that whiteboard back there, okay? So give me one second. Okay, it's like this, okay? You have A and B. Uh, let me use different color, okay? We have two hours left. We have plenty of time left, okay? So my voice is just doing just fine. Okay, so A and B, right? We don't know if they are equal or not. We don't know any relationship between the two. Uh, but we can preserve inequality or equality uh, by dividing by some number like two. Okay. <coughs> yeah. And proof by contradiction, we can do it that way, but we rather do it this way. Okay. Brand new way. This question mark, we don't know what the relationship between A and B. It could be equal, not equal. We don't know. But if we divide by two, uh, the relationship preserves whether they equal or not. Because let's say you have A equal to B, okay? Divide by 2, yeah. Preserve the equality. Let's say A is not equal to B. Divide by 2, yeah. Preserve inequality. We are not dividing by 0 or multiplying by 0. We are not doing those fancy stuff divided by two, okay? So we can do that, right? So that's what we did. 10d plus six, we divide by two, is 5d plus three. 5d plus three, no matter what the fuck d is, is an odd integer. Because three is an odd integer. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. If D is 1, 5 plus 3 is 8. Yeah, it can be that. Then C is whatever, right? But we at least proved one half of this shit, okay? Because they are not always equal, okay? So we got one half. When D is odd integer, then 5D plus 3 is even integer, which is, can, can be same as this even integer, okay? But we don't have the proof yet. We are halfway through, all right, so. <clears throat> if D is an even number, then yeah, 
odd this left hand right left hand side become odd number right hand side is definitely even number so they are unequal good but when these even integer I mean when these odd integer uh, then it can be 5d plus 3 is an even integer which can be the same as the right hand side uh, let's think about this okay this, we are halfway through okay we are almost there it's not an easy proof all right so. let's break down even further okay it's okay so Okay. Yeah, I'm drunk, right? I'm drinking vodka, but yeah, I can do mathematics. I can do martial arts when I'm drunk, okay? But I don't drink and drive, okay? So, FYI, because I don't want to go to jail. I cannot afford the fines. No, I don't want to go to jail. I, I cannot afford to pay the fines, so I don't drink and drive, okay? So. I got no money, I got no time, I don't want to go to jail, so I, but I can drink and dance, I can drink and do martial art, I can drink and stand on my one foot, I can drink vodka and do mathematics, right, so, but I don't drink and drive, because I don't want to go to jail, I don't want to pay the fine, I don't want to make mistakes, okay, so, we take a break very shortly, okay, so. Can this be true? For arbitrary natural number, positive integer for C and D, can this ever be true? When D is an odd integer, when D is even integer, we know it cannot be true. So D is an odd integer like 2k plus 1 okay all right well let's expand that right so 5d is like what 10k plus 5 so that left hand side right hand side okay k is some integer okay I'm sorry, this is like, so left hand side is five times of that, so 10k plus eight, okay? 5k plus five plus three, yeah, 10k plus eight. Can this ever become this guy? Let's simplify a little bit, okay? So this whole thing, we call it D, okay? Can this ever be five times, uh, eight times five D plus one? Can it be? This is what, 40D plus 8, okay, 8, 8, okay, so what, 
4K is equal to D. Uh, okay. So that doesn't quite work, right? So, I mean, we have a lot of constraint here, right? So, yeah, this approach failed, okay? So, forget it. We take a break very shortly. Just be patient with me. Bear it with me, okay? So, I stay there, right? So, uh, we can factor it again. Okay, 5C, okay? C4 becomes C3, C2 becomes C3. Okay, so 5C, all right? There's some extra, extraneous, ex, extra constraint here. So we, we better make full use of that. Okay, um, can this be ever equal for arbitraries? Any D or C, that's just some arbitrary integer, positive integer, okay? Uh, we are kind of reducing it down to make the problem equivalent problem, but also easier problem to solve. That's what we've been doing, okay, so. Can these two ever be equal? Can you find positive integer natural number with DMC that equalize these two? Maybe it's more difficult problem, huh? I don't know. We know that D has to be, for this to be equal, D has to be an odd number. We know that, okay? Right, so let's say, when D is even number, left-hand side is if odd, right-hand side is even, so it's not equal, it cannot be equal. So D has to be, two, for these two guys, left and right side to be equal, D has to be a, some odd number. So yeah, we have to, say d is 2k plus 1 when k is some integer okay okay let's expand that shit deja vu whatever then 10 10 um 10k left hand side become 10k plus 8 right okay now this is the right hand side, okay? So we divide by two. We actually divide by eight. Okay, we divide by two, okay? So 5k plus four, we don't know, okay? Left hand side is that, okay? So 5k plus four, okay? Let divide by four, okay? This is like four, five C, parenthesis, Zombies. Persistent zombies. <sighs> Can these two guys be equal? Possibly, just K can be any number, C can be any number, some positive, well, whatever integer, okay, so. But D is plus, okay, so uh, K actually is, to be exact, D is a positive integer, right, so. Yeah, I guess it should be zero or more, I guess. We are in positive number land, 
number theory, okay? Positive integers. Can we, can we use some raw algebra here? I don't know. Maybe not. Huh. I mean, you have four here and four here, so cancel out. If we then all we have left is five C and this thing, and we equalize K is equal to this guy, then left hand side, right hand side, they become the same. Okay, well, that's a disappointment. So, yeah, we failed again, all right? Oh, my goodness. We failed again. I mean, is Fermat's last theorem wrong? Maybe it is. Maybe if we just found a counter example. Yeah, it could be wrong. Maybe Professor Andrew Wiles was wrong, okay? And nobody caught his error, if that's possible. Uh, because it's not quite working, okay? Um, Maybe we can find some counter example for Fermat's theorem. Okay, so yeah, whatever. Then you will surprise the world, mathematical world. <clears throat> okay, we'll take a break and we, we will explore that possibility. Okay, so Fermat could have been wrong. Mr. Professor Andrew Wiles could have been wrong. And all the mathematicians, they could have been wrong. Okay, so. Uh, perhaps we can find a counter example and surprise the world. Who knows? Stay tuned, okay? So. <clears throat> After five minutes or ten minutes break, okay? So. I don't want to lose my voice. Uh, <clears throat>
Okay, let's take a break from mathematics, okay? Um, I changed this Hawaiian clothing, Hawaiian t-shirt clothing because I didn't want to, okay? It's brand new Hawaiian t-shirt, okay? It's beautiful. I bought this in Alaskan second-hand uh, clothing stores. Like, it cost me, it was a little bit expensive, like $13, 12 some dollars, okay? So, but I bought it because it's so beautiful, okay? So. I didn't want to change my Hawaiian clothing, Hawaiian t-shirt, but uh, I mean, on, under a lot of stress, so. Yeah, I did, okay, so. Why did I not want to change, change it? Because I want, wanted to go to work tomorrow with this brand new. Yeah, this is just hobby. It's not as serious serious as work. Uh, but that's that. Okay, so Mr. Bill from what Lansing, Michigan, Bangkok, amateur mathematician like I am, philanthropist. Okay, so he is establishes kind of scholarship fund, one million dollars of his own money, man. He's rich, successful. Banker, okay. Well, my mother's side, yeah, they're banking family, okay. My mat maternal uncle, grandfather, great grandfather, yeah, they, they were bankers, okay. So, and very good people, okay. Let me tell you something about my mother's grandfather, okay. He was doing a banker, Korean banker, South Korean banker, during Japanese colonial period. He was. He was a horse rider, very fit. He didn't have any pop belly. He was always fit, athletic, and also banker. Okay, financial, financier in South Korea. And he was like, "Oh, you Japanese! Oh, you are you colonizing us, Koreans, South Koreans? Okay, so, so what, man? He had this attitude, and he has this presence, athletic." So Japanese people, colonizers, they respected him. So they did not mess with my mother's grandfather. Okay, so he's financial, he was a banker, he's athletic, no papele, okay, so like old guy, but very athletic. So Japanese people, they didn't mess with him or his family, my mother's family. Okay, so he, Japanese people, they respected his presence charisma okay that's my mother's side family okay so very cool people okay so <laughs> that's my mother's grandfather okay i only heard about him okay so special people So, Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill, okay, of Lansing, Michigan, Michigan, okay, so, he was kind of very good banker, just like my great mother, mother maternal great-grandfather. Yeah, he was very generous in this scholarship program. Yeah, you prove this Bill's conjecture, or you disprove, prove or disprove. Yeah, I give you one million dollars, okay, so. We may be about to get that one million dollars, okay? Because uh, uh, it seems we may have found some counter example for Fermat's theorem, which will be counter example for Bill's conjecture. Okay, uh, because when K is equal to this guy, Okay, um, we may have to have another whiteboard, okay? It's one million dollar question, literally, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up, man. Look it up, okay? Bill's conjecture, okay? Right. 
we may prove Fermat's theorem was wrong, okay? We may have found some counter example for that. I didn't expect this and I may be wrong, okay? But, uh, let's see. We may prove that all these people were wrong. Mathematician, all log outs, Fermat. Okay. Fermat was a lawyer, right? Well, I'm a lawyer too. Well, on paper, okay, so. Alaska, of all places. <sighs> Professor Andrew Wiles, he could have been wrong. And all these professional mathematicians, they could have been wrong. And it's possible that human beings, they make mistakes, right? Okay, what do we have here? Left hand side is what? As simple as 5k plus 4. Pen zombies. We don't know whether, whether they are equal or not. Okay, so we have 4 times. Yeah, subtract by 4, okay, so this is right hand side, okay, so subtract by 4, okay, 5k, well, we just do question mark, okay, 5k, and on this side we have what, 10 to C. Okay, divide by 5, okay, so K, question mark, 4C, <sighs> did I make any mistake? No, we just expand, distribute that shit, right? Uh, nah. What's this parenthesis? Okay, we have four there, okay, so, ah, boy, there's another four, oh, yeah, whatever, I think it's correct, okay, we'll redo it, okay, we'll review it, okay, and let's say K and C, they are all, one or more when c is one when c is one the k four times 125 plus 100 plus sorry uh, plus four okay is what
four times. Two hundred and twenty five plus thirty four, right? Four times two hundred and fifty nine is what? Thirty six twenty eight. Okay, so Okay. Uh, how do we translate to back to this Fermat equation of order four? Oh my goodness, that's a long way to go. How do we get here? I have to trace it back, right? So let's say this K, okay? So K is equal to We may have found some counter example for Fermat theorem. We may have disproved Fermat's theorem. Prove all these professional mathematicians wrong. And disproved Bill's conjecture and win $1 million. I don't know yet. Okay, so far. I don't want to deal with $1 million, okay? Maybe I may have to refuse to accept that money because I don't have time to deal with all these bugs. Because Jesus said, yeah, don't be rich. Because if you're rich, all these bugs, thieves, beggars, they'll come to you and you'll waste your time. That's what Jesus said, okay? so. Yeah, accumulate wealth in heaven, not on the earth. Okay, so. But if we disprove that Fermat theorem, all we need is just one letter. Yeah, this number, triple number. Yeah, Fermat's theorem is wrong. Bill's theorem, we just have counter example. We disproved it. Okay, so. But thank you, but no thank you. Yeah, I don't want to deal with $1 million. So. Yeah, you can donate that to some scholarship fund. I don't have time, okay, so. I don't want to deal with that, okay, so. If we one liner, okay, this is this proof, counter example, okay, so. We'll see. Yeah, it will shock the world, mathematical world. Mm -hmm. If it is indeed counter example, okay, we'll see. Let's take a break, okay, so. Take five minutes, all right?
bring her back. You know, I'm excited, but kind of not excited either because I don't want to disappoint <laughs> this mathematician. I don't want to hurt their feelings. It breaks my heart. Oh, I don't want to all this disappoint all these mathematicians. Prove them wrong. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Okay, so I wasn't very happy about it. But well, it is what it is. Okay, so we may uh, prove them wrong. Okay, but I'm not very happy about this. Uh, but at the same time. No, I'm not very happy about this either, okay, so... Uh, but we may have disproved Fermat's theorem. <laughs> we may have found some counterexample. I'm not... Look at my face. I'm, do I look excited? Do I look happy? Uh, I'm having fun, but at the same time, a little bit sad, okay? We just... Keep going, okay, so... How do we did we come about this? Okay, so okay, what is C? What is K? What are they? Oh, again, I. I need another whiteboard for this, okay, so we found K and C, C is 1, K is 10, 36, whatever, right, so, uh, and let's find some whiteboard to erase. Again, I'm not happy about this, okay? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, because I don't want to make them sad and hurt their feelings, but yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Because we are the last hope, like in Star Wars series. There's nobody else to do these things right. Okay, I did just follow majority, Goliath, bigger and better things. We're not dead, okay? We are David Armies. We challenge establishment. We are rebels, okay? Not non-violent way, like Mahatma Gandhi kind of Jesus Yan way, okay? Yeah, pacifist. Give me one second, okay? So. Two white boards. White boards everywhere there. Okay. I'm getting it. So. It's, this blue is different. How about the other blue? It's too light. So, yeah. left hand side, okay, was 10,000 C square, C to the fourth was 8,000 C cube plus 2400 C squared plus. 320 C plus 16, okay? So that was that. Right hand side was 10 D plus 6. And we said D is equal to 2K plus 1. Okay? 
What is D? I mean, what is K? Yeah. K is 1036, okay, and C is 1. Let's see if left hand side and right hand side is equal, okay. Right hand side, this blue is dying, so <laughs> just like past mathematician, okay. Oh, well, we honor our parents and grandparents, okay. This black is still good, okay. We carry on the to torch, right? Okay, D is 2K plus 1. K is dead, so 2072, okay? Plus 1 times 10. My goodness. 2072, okay? 2073, 2073 times 10 plus 6, okay, so 20,736, okay, that's left, right hand side, how about left hand side, this black is dying too, okay, okay, whatever, C is 1, okay, you have what, 10,000, plus 8,000 plus 2,400 plus 326, okay? So, which is what? We are off by 10, I guess. Okay. Did we make any mistakes? <sighs> Case this guy, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Two zero seven three, right? Two zero seven three. I'm confused. We'll do step by step, okay? So these two guys added together is a seven two six. Two zero seven two six. Okay, so that's left hand side. Right hand side. Ten times D. What is D? What? Uh, two zero seven two plus one plus six, right? Is what? Two zero seven three zero plus six. We are off by ten. Okay, two zero seven thirty six. Okay, so there must have been some mistake. We have thirty minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. We all fight fucking 10, okay? So, yeah. We get it. We get it right.
Professor Andrew Wiles, yeah, he also made this tape, okay, so he had some graduate students, he had to correct it, okay, so we are kind of doing the same thing. I read about this. Probably this documentary, as far as I have read, so I, I watched his documentary, okay, Andrew Wiles, Professor Andrew Wiles and his proof of Fermat's last theorem. Yeah, I heard there was documentary about that, and yeah, I look it up in YouTube or some other whatever. Yeah. I'm double checking to make sure if I made any mistake here. So far, so good. It's supposed to match. I don't see any error. Oh, I'm sorry. This, my goodness, this is 16, okay? Uh, 16. Okay, so. When C is 1, it's 336. It will be uh, two, 27 and 36, okay? So it will be 2,736, okay? <sighs> yeah, so there you go, okay? So, shh. 
We have 10 minutes left. Okay, so now to disprove O'Farrell's theorem and Bill's theorem, one million dollar question. Okay, I probably have to just Mr. Bill, thank you, but no thank you because I don't want to deal with all these people. Okay, so you can keep your money, give it to your kids, grandkids, or donate to philanthropy, whatever. Because I don't have time for that. All these people, beggars, thieves. No, I can't do that. Okay, so maybe I have have to. Maybe I have some um, beer, or vodka with him one day. Okay, but. Uh, I can probably it's not a good idea. I take the money and because Like Lord of the ring, you know, oh the ring is mine no, Not me, okay, so I Don't have time to take care of that money or deal with all these thieves thugs Beggars no. we take five minutes break. Okay, so uh, We may have disproved Bill's conjecture and also we may have disproved Fermat's last theorem. Okay, so okay, so we'll take five minutes break and we we'll continue. Okay, so all right. Uh, I got a scratch in my back. My back so. Five. Take five minutes break. Okay, so. Okay, we are back again. I'm not very happy about this. this it's gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. Okay, descendants of Gauss, Euler, the legend, Legendre. I'm not excited about this. I'm not happy about this. But we may have found some counter example for Fermat's theorem and proved it wrong. I'm not happy about this, okay? I don't know. But we are God's servant. We serve the truth.
God, Jesus. Okay, so it's our job to <laughs> do this. I'm not very happy about this. Okay, so. But. <clears throat> So what's x, y, and z? We know n is 4, right? We have to reconstruct, deconstruct x, y, and z. I have to dig it up. Okay. It was not easy to find this shit. Okay, it's right there. We made it another whiteboard, okay, so. Multi-dimensional, multi-whiteboard, okay. Uh -huh. Let me open the window. I have to hot. Let's air it out, okay, so. Yeah, I, I will have to erase this whiteboard, but I will take a picture of that before I erase, okay, so. I love this whiteboard. It's heavy, stable, okay. Uh, we don't need, need this guy anymore, so. Where's my cell phone? of this then we erase <sighs> okay I got it I'm not happy about this okay because to prove somebody wrong yes I don't want to hurt their feelings it's gonna hurt many people's feelings I don't want that, okay, so. I do care about their feelings, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not so happy about this, okay, but. It is what it is. We have to do this, okay, to better human knowledge, advancement of mathematics, to correct or wrong. When you find your parents to be wrong, your parents, your teachers, your bosses, you're not happy about that, right? Because they've been nice to you, right? You don't want to hurt their feelings, but sometimes it's something we have to do because like Jesus Christ said, if you don't love me, I'm Jesus. If you don't love me more than you love your parents, you cannot go to heaven, okay? That's what Jesus said. It's not what I said. No, but that's what Jesus said. I'm just telling you what Jesus said. It's in the Bible, look it up, okay, so. By the way, my name is Lee, okay, L-E-E. -E. Yeah, it's no, no brand, all right? Because I feel obliged to you that I give something to you, okay, so. My name is Lee, okay, so that's that, okay, so I gave you some love, all right, because give and take, right, because I don't want to hurt these people's feelings, mathematician, so I gave something back, okay, so that's that. It's about reservation, leverage, reservation of leverage, 
you don't want to give something too much when it's not necessary you keep it inside keep it hidden but when it's necessary you, yeah you reveal yourself little by little leverage you reserve leverage okay so that's what it is okay, so shh. All right. Where's our K? Did I just erase that shit? Whatever. I should have written it down. Oh, it's back there. Okay, okay. Let me write it down before I fucking forget. We'll continue, okay? We'll probably just continue. I'm writing it down, okay? Okay. We continue, okay? We have five minutes left. We just continue.
we may not have quite proved it yet okay I, I'm just giving you some idea okay so maybe Fermat's life theorem is correct I don't know it's a very difficult problem okay so Yeah, yeah. It was not a complete proof, okay? Uh, complete disproof. Uh. Yeah, I didn't disprove it, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, but we are learning something at least, okay? So I didn't quite disprove Fermat's last theorem, okay? So, and I didn't win any $1 million yet, okay? So, but we are learning something okay so okay let's stop right here and let me think about this a little bit okay thank you